Hey, what's up everybody? It's Dallas with Gadget Hacks, and today I'm going to show you how to use Tasker to create your own Android apps. Now this guide is going to be a little more advanced than my regular videos. First off, I'm going to have to assume that you already have a basic working knowledge of Tasker and how to create a new task. But hey, if you need to get up to speed, I've already covered the basics with other videos, and you can find links to those over at the full tutorial on Gadget Hacks. So first up, you're going to need Tasker of course, but even with that installed, there's another little free app that you'll have to get as well. It's called Tasker App Factory, and it's basically just a Tasker plugin, so it doesn't run by itself. You can download App Factory for free on the Google Play Store, but once you've got it installed, everything else will be done in the main Tasker app. Alright, so to show you App Factory in use, I went ahead and made a simple task that expands the notification tray by running a shell command. Looking into it a little bit further, you'll see that I have it set to use root. That means that if I export this task as an app, it'll still require root access even as a standalone product. Basically, that general rule holds true throughout, so anything your task requires will also be a requirement for your app once you export it. And as a result of all that, your app won't work if it's relying on another Tasker plugin, like Secure Settings for instance. So as a rule, you can only make apps out of native Tasker actions. Then finally, since your task is ultimately going to become an app, you'll need to give it an icon that will be used in the app drawer and on the home screen once it's installed. So tap this grid icon in the bottom right corner while you're viewing your task, then use this next menu to pick out an icon for it. But with all that understood, it's really easy to turn your task into a full-fledged app. Just long press the task itself, then tap the three dot menu button at the top of the screen and choose export. Then as long as you have App Factory installed, just tap the as app option and at this point Tasker will give you a brief disclaimer. Tap the check mark on this message, then Tasker will go about exporting your task as an installable APK. When it's done, you can either tap the Android icon on the right to install the app on your phone right now, or you can just tap the check mark if it's an app you intended on sharing with someone else. And that's really the main advantage of App Factory in my opinion. Let's say your friend wants you to replicate one of your Tasker features on their phone. You don't have to get them to purchase Tasker, and you don't need to go through all the steps of rebuilding the Tasker profile on their device. Instead, you can simply export your task as an app, then open your favorite file browser, and navigate to the Tasker folder on your SD card. From here, dip into the subfolders a couple of times, and then you'll find your App Factory APK sitting right there. So at this point, all you need to do is share the APK with your friend and make sure they have unknown sources enabled, then just have them launch the installer file. From here, installation works the same as any other app, so it's pretty straightforward. But when your app is installed on their device, they'll find it in their app drawer just like any other app, and they can drag it and drop it on their home screen if they'd like. Remember though, if your task required root, so will your app. If that's the case, of course they'll have to be rooted, and they'll have to hit grant when prompted by SuperSU. But beyond that, the app just basically executes your task, and then closes automatically. In this example, every time I launch the app, it just expands my notification drawer. Stuff like this would really come in handy for a home screen shortcut or swipe gesture if your launcher doesn't already have a feature baked in. Let's say you want your app to have buttons, options, and a full UI. Well that's actually possible, but it takes a bit more work. You basically just have to create a scene using Tasker, which guides you through adding buttons and actions and background images. Then when you're done there, you simply export the scene as an app just like you did with a task, but now your app will actually have a UI. I covered all of that in a bit more detail over at the full tutorial on Gadget X, so be sure to check that out for more info. As always though, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time folks, but until then, happy gadget hacking.